Hey guys, Simon and Alex here from Top Tennis Training and today we're going to discuss a little bit about what you think is the most influential era in tennis. So Alex, what do you think it is? Well, I'd say the current, at the moment, like the current players. We have four really good players at the top of their game yep. um, who are dominating tennis. We've got Murray, we've got Nadal, we've got Federer, uh, we've got Djokovic obviously. So those four, I'd say at the moment, are dominating and I, I don't really know Another era of tennis where there was there was four real greats that are really on top of their game. There's always been one or two like really dominating, but now you know we've got that competition. Although I think Djokovic now has actually He's kind of steamrolled steam steam through and actually gone ahead of that. So now, yeah. Obviously, you know, he's, he's taken over a little bit, but I still think that now, like the standard of tennis and the quality and how physical the game has become, I think this is, this is the era of the best, uh, the best players, I think. What yeah. about in the past, there was 80s, where you had players like McEnroe, uh, Borg, Jimmy Connors, Ivan Lendl, later on Boris Becker, all of the best, all of the top I think competing I think, for Grand Slam. I think the, what you have to kind of consider a little bit as well is the way the game's evolved and changed. You know, there yeah. used to be a lot more serve and volleying going on. Uh, even the courts at Wimbledon were a lot faster, so the yeah. grass was maybe a little bit longer. Uh, there was fewer longer points, so maybe the game wasn't as physical, but it was about coming forward, it was about being aggressive, uh, and it favoured those players a lot more. So that's why I'd say the those change. players dominated. Would they be able to dominate now? I don't know. On the you know, slower surfaces with the, the slow bigger balls? And yeah. against players like Djokovic and, uh, and Murray or Nadal returning against yeah. them? I mean, what do you guys think? I mean, do you think that the, 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 the older generation would be able to compete at the current level or not? Hi, I'm David Norbandian, former world number three. If you want to learn the secret of my return, just click the button below. What about the 90s? We had Andre Agassi, obviously Pete Sampras, who kind of dominated that era. You had Jim Courier, you had Michael Chang. So you had four Americans who were at the top, and then later on you had bigger servers like Richard Krajicek, Goran Ivanisevic, who also won Wimbledon. I mean, I think that's getting a little bit closer to the current standard. I'd say yeah. like someone like Agassi could still be a Hang real, there. like, yeah, because, because of the way he hits the ball, taking balls early, uh, and his game would kind of suit the current, the current condition. He's a bit like a Djokovic. Perhaps Djokovic is a little bit more athletic, a bit more agile, yep. uh, but he's a real, like, hard hitter. Someone like Sampras, just the quality of his serves uh, and the quality of his game would be, uh, he'd be able to compete with the current uh, guys in form as well, so I think yeah. those guys would definitely be able to do it. Someone like Chang, maybe, possibly, possibly. I what don't know if the game is not moved on a yeah, bit too become much. A, a lot more physical. What about someone like Rod Laver, who yeah. managed to the win all four Grand Slams in one year, two times? So would he be able to hang with the guys like Djokovic? Again, we have to consider the equipment they were using now. The, gra the, the new rackets, yeah. the graphite rackets, are becoming, you know, now they've got the carbon and all the different mixes, fibers, fibers yeah. in, the, in the racket that are making the rackets more powerful. The strings? Uh, the strings are Polyester. more powerful. Uh, you know, so it's, it's tough to say. I think the speeds definitely that the game has evolved into, uh, it's, it's, it's mind-blowing. Mind so, yeah. uh, you know, I don't know how good those guys would be uh, at the current at the current level yeah. let us know guys what you think maybe you think that guys from the 70s or the 60s could be able to play perhaps the top guys would be able to Labour, compete these and how guys. good would they be would they make top 100 would they be top 10 uh, anything that you guys think would be relevant leave a little comment underneath we'd love to hear from you uh, and have a little discussion on the subject also guys make sure you share the video with your friends with your family anyone who loves tennis we love to get those guys in the debate and we also want to bring more videos like this to help you with your tennis game. Exactly guys, we're trying to grow our channel as much as we can so any share uh, is really really appreciated from you guys and you are the ones that we're doing this for and uh, this is why we're, we're hoping to grow it even more. And also thumbs up the video for the London Eye in the background. All the best guys. What do you guys think? Let yeah. us know. Uh, leave a comment below. See so, what do you guys think? Let us know below whether you think guys from the from the 60s could do it. Guys from the 70s, from the 80s. Oh, yeah, yeah. That one. <laughs>